Hey, what's up everyone? James from Junkyard Fox. Thank you so much for joining me. And today we have a new everyday carry setup update for the months of spring. And this is me waving hi to you guys. Now let me just address the situation of, of this setup because it's not very Junkyard Fox style. But at the time of filming this video, we are still in a shelter in place situation. So I can't go out camping or, you know, to the wilderness. I can't hang out with Corvo Negro, who usually does the camera work. So I am still struggling to film with this tripod but we will get through it because that's the way anyway i tried filming this outside that didn't happen because we have 15 mile an hour winds so we're going to do this very cutlery lover flavored edc update cutlery lover if you're watching please do not sue me anyway thank you guys for joining me let's go ahead and get started Okay, folks, so as the weather warms up, as we transition from the winter to the spring, of course, we're starting to put away our coats, and because of that, it's going to alter the way that we carry things or the amount of things that we carry. So uh, it's going to change some stuff, and here's something that's changing for me, for example. Now, this winter, you have seen me using this hat a lot. This is my Brixton hat, and I've used it, um, you know, outdoors during the, the winter months. Now, this is cotton. Not the warmest thing in the world, but it's warm enough. I still use it because it does get cold at night if I'm outdoors. But I know as it warms up, I'm going to be spending a lot more time out, outside uh, in my garden, uh, doing yard work, pulling weeds, that kind of stuff. And it's going to get hot. And I'm going to prefer to use this, which is my older straw hat. It's going to be more comfortable to use. Of course, you can see that there's a lot more ventilation. For when I'm sweating and this being a straw hat I don't care if I beat it up as much as I care about the other one even though the other one's already beat up too but you know what I mean so my gardener hat basically while I'm stuck at home okay so right away let's go ahead and get rid of the boring stuff that you don't care about so my wallet basic leather wallet I got this from Target some time ago and uh, you know as you can tell I'm a big fan of brown leather so all my documents, all that stuff that I may need, my debit cards, my identification. Then I have, of course, my little notebooks. I always carry these notebooks. I've been carrying them for years. I just like writing down ideas, to-do lists. Uh, I'll sketch, you know, because I draw on that kind of stuff. So um, I get these like three for a dollar at the dollar store. I don't need some right in the rain notepad or anything like that. And, you know, I'm not saying anything about right in the rain. I'm not saying that they're terrible or nothing, but you know I'm fine with this so I always have a couple of these around now I highly recommend you guys using some of these especially if you are a content creator of some kind whether you are a musician um, a writer um, you know a youtuber whatever the case may be it never hurts to have something like this and write down ideas make objectives scratch them out that kind of stuff um, honestly it makes a big difference now of course you can use your cell phone that it's you know everybody has their own way of doing things but I personally believe that when you write something down it's a lot more of an intimate thing and a lot more personal than you know just using a keypad that's just my theory um, I don't have any hard evidence that that may be true but I think so so that's just my philosophy as an artist as a creator of all kinds of things so I always have a notepad never leave home without it and then here is a pen I'm not sure what kind of pen this is. Pilot, that's what it says. And um, I used to use Sharpies for a couple of years, and I recently moved to these because these are a lot thinner. Come on, there we go. And so it's a, it's a lot thinner, so if I'm drawing or something, it's just better. And I don't know why, but I don't know what's up with Sharpie lately, but they've really been uh, popping on me, so even though I didn't mess them up or something, all of a sudden I open it up, and before you know it, all my fingers are all black. So I just got rid of those and started using these instead. Uh, I get them at the same time, like at the dollar store. And then of course, chapstick, because even though you're in quarantine, you wanna look sexy for the ladies. So of course you don't want chapped lips. Next, let's move on to bandana. So 
Bandanas are always something very useful. If you're an outdoorsman, if you're, you know, a bushcraft or a prepper, you know this. Now, I predict bandanas are going to skyrocket in popularity. Now, as, as the human race becomes a lot more germaphobic, you know, there's a lot, a lot of uses for bandanas from coughing into to wiping your hands, whether you just ate or you're gardening, working on your vehicle, whatever the case may be. There's just a thousand uses to them, and they're pretty cool, to be honest. So, this one is my Junkyard Fox bandana. We made a few years back, limited run. You guys have been asking us for years that you wanted another one, and I finally relented this year, and I was going to make some, and I already was talking, you know, had already spoken to the print shop. We were going to get some more this style, but in this color blue, and in a gray as well. And then a little thing called the coronavirus came along and just shut down everything. So that print shop is closed and everybody's broke now. So that's going to have to wait. Uh, so, yeah, talk about bad timing. But, um, yeah, I really, I, to this day, I really enjoy my bandana. I like the logo. For those of you who don't know, uh, the logo is a fox holding a knife. And the knife that he's holding is an LT Wright Genesis. I'm sorry, the LT Wright GNS knife. That is... Uh, the first knife that I ever, my first serious knife. Let me see. I'll be right back. Here we go. This knife right here. So the blade is actually going like that. Cool little tidbit for those of you who didn't know. And then I'm always having a backup bandana. Uh, I'll have them in my haversack or, you know, during the times that I do wear a coat, I still have one in my coat pocket uh, because they're just so useful, so many uses for them. And like I said, now that we're becoming a lot more germaphobic, they're just going to be used a lot more often. I would not I would not even be surprised if we start using this, these to improvise as face masks when we're out running around in the city. So, yeah, bandanas. So another thing, that obviously, that we're going to be carrying all the time is some kind of combustion device, some kind of uh, flame of some sort, um, some implementation of it. So, of course, you've seen this many times in our channel, many times in many other channels, is the Exotac Titan Light. This thing is just awesome. Um, it's very reliable, and I, I just think it's beautiful, too. Honestly, this looks so cool. Way cooler than a Zippo, in my opinion. That's just me. And I like how you're able to see that mine... Was beginning to get that little personality, that Boba Fett scuffing look. I think that looks really beautiful. I, I'm a big fan of that look. Little scratches here and there. And uh, once again, Exotac, Exotac is an American company, small business, made in America, that kind of stuff. And, you know, if you're interested in that, check them out. You're not going to regret it. I mean, this thing is just awesome. And like I said, I really like it much more than I do like Zippos, for example. I find these, not only do they look a lot cooler... But uh, I feel like they're a little bit more reliable. If you're interested, I do have a review on them. Check it out. And then going from very premium to very simplistic. And that is a little big lighter that I got at the store. This was like, what, 80 cents, I want to say? I mean, these, these are the small ones. And, you know, if you want to keep it simple, Bix are good. Bix are pretty reliable for the most part. Um, and, yeah, good stuff. So... Uh, I'll either have this in, in in my haversack, but I don't know why lately I've been carrying it in my pocket. So I'll switch out. Like I said earlier, as we're changing through the seasons, you know, when, uh, this is getting a little bit bulky on me because this normally rides in my coat pocket. This is just a lot slimmer. And uh, yeah, so always having some kind of way to make fire. Okay, let's start centering all the good stuff. Let's go ahead and get the watches out of the way. Now, you've seen this watch that I've been using for the last couple of years. This is the Timex Weekender. I really like this watch. Not only is it, you know, functional, but it's very handsome in a rugged sense. Does that make sense? I hate things that are too pretty, too ornate, especially being a man. I, I don't know. Call it machismo or whatever you want to call it, but I, I can't see myself rocking something like a Rolex you know, coming from someone who makes fire using flint and steel and stuff out in the mountains, you know? So I like that this looks good, but at the same time, it has things that I like. Simplicity. Uh, it has the foliage green type of coloring, the olive drab, which I really like. And you can't really tell here on the camera, but we do have some scuffing, some scrapes, you know, some staining. 
uh, but it still looks good for the most part. Really like it. Once again, it's functional, but it looks nice as well. And I think a man that wears a watch, uh, it just tells something. You know, you just look a little bit more presentable, more mature, I guess. Anyway, moving on from there. I have been stuck at home these last couple of weeks, and because of that, I've been rocking this bad boy right here. Now, this is another Timex. This is the Timex Expedition. The other one's called The Weekender. And, um, yeah, like I said, this one looks handsome, but I could you could definitely see me still rocking this when I'm out butchering rabbit or fishing, whatever the case may be. This one, I do not take outdoors for that. This one's usually like if I'm going to go on a date, if I have some kind of important meeting for whatever reason. Uh, so, yeah, brown leather. As you, you guys will pick up the pattern that I like brown leather and I like olive drab green. So, uh, yeah, really nice. And this one has Mandalorian technology for the darkness. So, yeah, I don't know why I've been switching out the, the watches lately, but, uh, yeah, I like watches. Okay, so we're getting to the fun stuff. So let's go ahead and talk about this little light right here. I have been using this one, I want to say, about a year already, and I really like it. Now, I got to tell you guys... Flashlights are not interesting to me. I find them boring. Um, now, I understand that they're useful. I understand that they're necessary. But they don't excite me the way knives do, for example. Um, when it comes to, let's say, predators, like in predator movies, you show me the image of the predator, and I can guarantee, I can identify which predator it came out in and you know what scene it was in because I could just tell the slight differences in the armor, even though someone, some regular Joe may be like, you know, they all look the same. Um, I'm opposite with flashlights. They're just, they're boring. They all look similar. Um, they all have that one function, basically. Uh, but I do really like this one. This is the Thrunite T1. And we reviewed this one last year as well. And I gotta say, I really like this light. For being as small as it is, it's so reliable. Once again, rechargeable, like many lights nowadays, but really like it. It's really become a favorite of mine when it comes to everyday carry. And as you can tell... It's starting to get that Boba Fett weathering as well. Now, I, I purposely do not, you know, I'm not one of those people that purposely distresses their gear just to make it look cool. It has to be earned. It has to be, it has to come naturally. Or else you just look like one of those posers who buy ripped jeans from the store, you know? Uh, no, you got to earn your, your stripes, you know? So, uh, really like it. Good use. Carry it almost every day. But recently, I have been rocking this one. Now, this is the WowTac A6 flashlight. Now, WowTac is, I believe they're owned by the same company. I believe ThruNight makes, you know, WowTac is an offshoot of ThruNight, but they're a little bit more budget-friendly. And this light is decent. It is a little bit larger, so I don't really like that. Once again, now that it's springtime, I kind of want to be a little bit more um, sleek. But, yeah, you know, once again, being more budget-friendly, I think, the common man, especially now with everyone being broke and, you know, all that stuff. If you need a flashlight, this is probably the one that I would, you know, just suggest because it is a little cheaper. And it is pretty, once again, USB rechargeable. You know, it is reliable. I have a review coming up pretty soon that I had planned. Now, I'll leave that up to you guys, too. To you guys. Uh, what do you think? Because I'm a little bit confused on what to do as of right now when it comes to gear reviews. Should I still review gear or should I take a break? Because I honestly put all my gear, like things that I had planned to review on hold because I can't go outdoors. You know, I had planned to catch trout with this knife and that kind of stuff. And now I can't because everything's closed. So I don't know. Now I can still review this flashlight on the side of my house. You guys tell me, or should I just wait until this whole thing blows over? So comment down below, tell me what you think. But, you know, if you want the summary right now, this flashlight is reliable, it's nice, and it's budget-friendly. Alright, getting to the good stuff. So, first things first, let me show you this bad boy right here. I've been rocking this little Leatherman Squirt PS4. You guys, I don't, I don't believe you guys have ever seen this in the channel before. I don't believe I've ever shown it off before. This was actually a gift from Leo from Irish Zombie Nation uh, back when we had the outdoor arena. We had these challenges that we set up. You know, each one of us sent a box to somebody else with several items with a mission to accomplish with those items. 
I don't think none of us really did them. I think maybe like two people did them, uh, unfortunately. And I still have to do mine. I, it's still in the works. I still want to do it. But now more than ever, it's going to have to wait. Um, but he did send this to me. Now look how small that is. You know, this is such a mini multi-tool. But you know what? At first, I was like, okay, that's pretty small. It's going to be limited. But it's not. It really helps. These little pliers make such a difference. Now probably the blade is probably the biggest part where it's going to have a weakness in terms of functionality. I mean, this blade is almost non-existent, right? I mean, this thing's about an inch, but then again, I'm rocking, you know, fixed blades on my belt as well. So what do I have to complain about? You know, so I really like this little things that you may need, uh, scissors, for example. So yeah, you'll see this in action, hopefully pretty soon, but, uh, yeah, such a cool little small multi-tool. And yeah, this normally rides in my haversack, but lately for some reason I've had this and this in my pocket. Because that's, that's really cool. So, really like this. Moving on from there, of course, you've seen this many times. My Victorinox Trekker. I love this blade. One of my all-time favorites. It's all gunky because uh, I went to the post office not so long ago to ship out some stuff to some patrons. Uh, shout out to my buddy Jerry, who's a patron. Uh, be on the lookout, buddy. You have a Swiss Army knife coming your way as well. And a comic book. And then, of course... You know, in this quarantine, don't tell me you guys aren't popping those beers a lot more often because I know I am. So there we go. Flathead screwdriver. Toothpick. Little pliers. A saw blade. I mean, there's a lot of things to do with this thing. I mean, I basically have a review on a very similar one, except it's not a one opening one. So I'll put it right here, right there. So you can check out a review. Very useful. Still my favorite multi-tool if I had to choose one. I know it's blasphemy to the Leatherman guys, but I still love this a lot. It's just that sometimes I get lazy and I don't want to wear a pouch on my belt. So this just slides into my pocket. And now down to the fun stuff. Let's go ahead and talk about knives. So this right here is the Exodus Adventure Craft Knife. I think I showed it in my uh, Hidden Woodsman Haversack video that I did a couple months back, maybe like a month ago. This knife is just awesome. Now, I have never been a neck knife kind of guy. I never have been. I much rather have a, a secondary knife in my boot. But, uh, I, you know, I decided to try this out, and it really works. Now, this is what I was rocking during the winter time. Um, because of course it's easier to conceal when you're wearing a jacket now that we're not I'm not really wearing it as in my around my neck anymore, but Beautiful kydex sheath And check out this little knife. This is once again the exodus adventure craft Knife really cool. I mean this is like a little toothpick, but it is one eighth inch thick and It is just so cool looking now, this is one of those knives that were affected right away with this whole coronavirus thing when they were shutting down everything because this was the next knife in line to be reviewed. So what I had planned was to um, catch some trout in New Mexico and I was going to use this to not only butcher the trout but uh, make fire, you know, feather sticking and stuff and then I was going to make a uh, spit roast basically. So get the fire started, then of course the little Y sticks, trout in the middle and cook it up. Unfortunately, you know, the world just plunged into chaos and I couldn't go. We actually went fishing uh, two weeks ago, Cuervo and I, and the lake was closed. The entrance was barricaded. So that's gonna have to wait. Cruel irony, that sucks, but really cool little knife. If you're looking for a cool little necker made in America, this is it. Okay, and now you guys know which knife this is. So this is my Green River Hunter knife. I love this thing. I know you guys are probably sick of hearing that, You've seen me rocking this thing for almost like a year and a half probably. And I have just fallen in love with it. It is my favorite knife, probably second favorite. I think the Mora Consible still wins that one. But I mean, I just love that old school look. Now, if you haven't seen our review, I highly suggest checking it out. We butchered a rabbit with it. We made a one stick fire with it. Um, chopped up some potatoes and made, you know, made a good wilderness meal out in the mountains in the forests of New Mexico. Um, what else? I have used this almost daily. I think every single day I've used it in the kitchen making stews, making jambalaya, fajitas, 
uh, whatever the case may be this is the main knife I mean you can tell that this thing has some miles on it and I mean I just absolutely love that weathered look I've also uh, butchered a rattlesnake with it last summer unfortunately I didn't film it but uh but yeah help me butcher a rattlesnake which I cooked with, with some rice once again, check out that review if you haven't yet. Really awesome blade, very underrated, an American classic. I mean, this knife is just really awesome. So, yeah. And last but not least is this knife that I feel is, honestly, this doesn't get the its due respect. Uh, this is my Genesis, my flat grind Genesis from LT Wright. And this knife is very overlooked in, in my channel. Um, I don't talk about it much. I don't show it off much like when I'm camping or whatever. But honestly, I use this thing almost a lot of times. I don't know why I don't talk about it a lot. But um, but yeah, and I normally, once again, I use this almost all the time. But for a long time, I wasn't using this one on my belt because I cut it at the bottom. See that? Yeah, so one time I dropped it like a fool. And it fell like this. And with the momentum, it cut up here. And because of that, um, the the little blade, the, the tip of the blade would peek out. And I was scared that, you know, having this on my hip, I was going to either cut something, cut someone, hurt myself. You know, and I was too cheap to buy a new sheath. I just glued it. Um, so in the meantime, I would just carry this in my pocket or in my coat. And this one kind of just took over as the belt knife. I mean, and it, it has everything that I like in a knife. I like a flat grind. I like a traditional design. So very comfortable really enjoy it once again i mean i think it's a knife that i've just been neglecting to talk about but i mean it's an lt right guys and yeah a2 tool steel one eighth inch thick which is a little thick for me but uh it's fine and then of course full tang broomstick handle yeah nice sheath and yeah as you guys can see i am a big classic knives kind of guy I just love that style okay guys so that's about the conclusion of this video I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, thank you for bearing with me while I'm trying to figure out new ideas and a new format to film during this time that I'm stuck at home but I hope you guys are doing well once again I hope you liked it and I hope you guys are staying safe guys so once again give us a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video and like I said earlier, I am genuinely curious what you guys think when it comes to the gear review thing. Now, once again, originally, I'm shelving all gear reviews for now because what's the point? No one can go outside. Everybody's broke. So I was just thinking that there's no point to it. But if you guys feel differently, let me know. Or if you guys agree, let me know. Some things I can improvise. Uh, some things I cannot. You know, so it really depends. The knife's going to have to wait, obviously, because there's no trout in my backyard. But something like this I could probably film. But once again, I'll leave that up to you guys. So chime on down below. Okay, and that's about it for me, guys. Thank you for watching. We have a new video coming up pretty soon. And uh, yeah, we're here at the conclusion. And my slogan makes no sense anymore because it's in direct violation. So we're not going outside. I'm just going to end it with this little cool bandana. So we're, we're going to end it. Down now 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 down now 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 now